Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 90th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 30th episode of Season 2 titled Mirror of Regret. At the Youth Center, Adam and Rocky are teaching children some basic katas, and as it turns out, there's a big kid picking on a smaller kid. Adam tells them to lighten up, but honestly, like, why did it take more than a second for you guys to speak up about this kid getting bullied? Apparently this kid's name is Sean, and Adam talks to him, saying that he used to be the weakest kid in his class too, but he got better. All you have to do is believe in yourself, I guess. Zed sees that Adam has a crappy past and his plot is to show Adam things from his past to defeat his self-confidence. Are we seriously having another Adam episode so soon? Whatever, Adam is now doing some one-on-one -on -one tutoring with Sean and Aisha and Rocky are in the youth center cheering them on. Then Sean falls over. Adam says that he needs to remain confident before Bulk and Skull come in, showing that they're once again learning karate. But they're terrible. I mean, Adam, they believe in themselves. So, how come they're not amazing? Aisha and Rocky are meeting with the others at the basketball court and leave as Bulk and Skull hit each other, falling over. Adam and Sean leave to the park to get some more space to practice. On the moon, Zed says that he's going to use a mirror of regret to show Adam some crappy things. But it doesn't matter, Adam and Sean are walking through the park. We get some backstory on Adam here. He used to be really down on himself and get bullied, and while it didn't make him taller, it gave him a lot of self-confidence to learn karate which is kind of nice. I always assumed that every ranger thus far was just born with a black belt. They do some practice in the park, and Sean is getting slowly better at this whole karate thing in slow motion. Alpha is in the command center, getting stoked about finishing a new weapon, the power cannon. That's legitimately it for this scene. Goldar is now being sent down by Zed with putties to fight Adam. Goldar shows up behind Adam with the putties and they attack him, and once again we get Adam being fantastic at fighting. I mean, man, he's so cool. Then Goldar makes a bunch of smoke come out of nowhere that does nothing, before Goldar holds up a giant mirror in front of Adam and he sees himself being picked last for soccer as a kid? I guess? The putties grab him and force him to watch himself as a child in literally the same park <laughs> being laughed at. Zed is pleased with this and he says that he needs a monster that will laugh at his victims. Bulk and Skull are still practicing, and Ernie shakes his head, asking Sean to show off some of his moves, leaving his homework behind to do so. Bulk and Skull said that they may need to start practicing outside too, so they can get better at karate. Leave it. Nice to see them not bully a child for once. Zed zaps the homework because there's a picture of a hyena in there, creating the Skell Arena, which is kind of disturbing as it runs around the forest. Zordon asks Alpha about the status of the power cannon when the alarms go off, letting them know that the monster's out there. And Zordon apparently also knows about Adam being forced to watch some bad home videos of himself. Turns out the other five are being contacted to come in and handle the monster without Adam. There's a really nice moment here where all five teleport in at different spots in the command center. They get caught up on everything and Zordon says that Adam's spell can only be broken by him. So time to handle that monster, I guess. It's morphin' time, Tommy says as he steps in front of Aisha. <laughs> they fight putties while Skill Arena runs around off screen in Japan laughing at them. Yellow and Pink get tossed over a hill because women, before they just defeat a putty together. Also, Billy is getting taken for a freaking ride against a putty. Why are these so freaking hard out of nowhere? Just kidding, they're all dead now. Zoran says that the rangers really need help without Adam there, so Alpha prepares to send the power cannon. Meanwhile, Goldar is showing Adam scenes of Sean doing well now on accident because he tries to show how that kid didn't get better because of him, but he did. So that gives Adam self-confidence again? Then Adam defeats them quickly before he talks to Zordon, morphing out of there. Black Ranger joins the others when Skell Arena just jumps and falls over for absolutely no reason. Then they call out the power cannon and they put in big balls into the device, firing it and killing Skell Arena. Are we not gonna talk about how this cannon is a giant dragon thing? Zed is almost mad that the plan failed before he calls in Goldar to scream at him for failing with the mirror and he laments over this failure for like three minutes. Sean shows how much he's improved to his class, while Adam, Rocky, and randomly Tommy clap along. The bully compliments him on improving and they make up. Can't end this episode without Vulcan Skull coming in to act a fool though. They show off how much karate they don't know before getting dizzy and falling onto the ground because honestly, who cares? The end. This is actually a really great episode by season 2 standards. Back to back Adam episodes is weird. 
but I really don't mind because it's made Adam feel like a real character now. He's the one who was bullied as a kid who grew up to be a little bit more confident, but he still struggles with shyness sometimes like in last episode. Also, he's such a good fighter. Just saying. The only weird part of this episode is that I feel like every other ranger is almost non-existent throughout it. Seriously, this was like a 30 minute filming for the others. How will next time go? Until then, may the power protect you.